Hi everyone, and welcome back. Things feel kind of scary at the moment, and I hope that all of you are safe and healthy at home. I'm also under lockdown in Austria, but thankfully it doesn't affect me making videos. Staying inside might feel difficult and boring after a while, but please remember that it's the best thing you can do for yourself and everyone else. This video is the first in a series that will feature quarantine safe DIYs that you can make with simple things around the house. I think it's safe to assume that lots of you are stuck indoors right now with a huge stash of toilet paper and nothing else to do. So this video features three different DIYs that should help pass some time. Of course, I'm still mindful of how precious toilet paper is right now, so all the projects here use a maximum of three sheets. First of all, we have toilet paper squishies. This was inspired by the line sticker character Shirumaru by the illustrator Tomoko Ishii. To make this, you'll need two sheets of toilet paper, some scissors, clear tape, a pen, and some blusher. First, separate the two sheets and place them on top of each other. Then fold them in half and cut out an oval mochi-like shape. Now draw on the face, and I'm going to be doing this on the reverse side of the toilet paper so the embossed logo isn't as obvious. Then use some blusher to make cute cheeks. You can easily do this step using lipstick, nail polish, or anything else you can find. Then cover the entire surface using clear tape. Make sure the ends of the tape stretch over the sides a bit longer like this. Then peel it off and trim the tape so there's an extra bit all around the sides. Now cut small triangular shapes into the tape to create tabs like this. Repeat the process with the other piece of toilet paper and this time cut it out without any tabs. Place the two together and fold the tape over to attach. If there are any gaps in the sides, then just cover them up using extra tape. And of course, don't forget to leave the bottom part open like this. Now take the extra toilet paper from earlier and separate all the layers. You want to shred these as thinly as possible so you can make a lot of stuffing. This part is quite fun and will help you pass some time if you're bored. This is what my hamsters used to do to create their bedding, and you'd be amazed at how much volume you can get out of a few scraps of toilet paper. Now stuff everything into the base. If you want to have a puffier squishy, or if you made this one too big, then you might have to shred up another piece of toilet paper, which I know is a very precious commodity right now. Lastly, just tape up the opening and your toilet paper squishy is done. I decided to make a few more that were slightly smaller so they fit into my hand better. Just like before, cut out your shape from two pieces of toilet paper, then draw on the face and add some cheeks. Cover everything with tape and cut out the tabs. Then stick both pieces together and stuff with shredded toilet paper. These turn out surprisingly well and they're satisfyingly crunchy to squeeze. If you can spare the toilet paper, then you can also make a whole collection of these with different shapes and faces. I decided to give these to Isabel to play with, because most shops are closed here and I'm running out of ideas for toys. I didn't want to keep ordering stuff online, so it's nice to keep her entertained using something more sustainable. Next, we're going to make a toilet paper flower. 
This is adapted from various napkin rose tutorials on YouTube. To do this, you'll only need one sheet of toilet paper. First of all, separate and remove one of the tissue layers because this DIY works better if the paper is fairly thin. Fold one side of the sheet over and this is going to be the height of your flower. Then start rolling the entire piece into a tube. The trick is to keep the inside part hollow, so I'm going to put my finger in the middle and roll the paper around it. Then twist the tissue just below the flower so you get a tulip shape like this. Keep on twisting it until you're halfway down the stem. Then grab the corner of the paper from the bottom and gently fold it up to make a leaf. And finally, continue twisting the stem until everything is fixed in place. If you want to, you can carefully pull apart the flower petals so they look more like a rose, or just leave it as it is to make a tulip. I still have the blusher from the last DIY, so I decided to give this a pink color. Of course, you can also use paints or pastels if you have those at home, but since many shops are closed at the moment, I decided to make this DIY without using any specific art supplies. For the final DIY, you'll need three sheets of toilet paper. This is an adaptation of a Paper Star origami that I've shown several times on my channel. It was actually the very first video that I ever uploaded onto YouTube. The last time I showed this was 2017, so I realized that many subscribers might not have seen it since then. First, lay your paper flat and cut out some strips. I find that this DIY is a bit easier if the strips are wider, about 2cm or 0.8 inches across. Take a strip of paper and start tying it into a knot, just like you would with string. You'll notice that the paper automatically forms a pentagon shape like this. Be sure not to press the edges flat, which is a common mistake that makes the rest of the origami a lot harder. Hold the piece lightly between your fingers and resist the urge to touch the sides. Tuck the extra bit inside and start wrapping the remaining strip around the pentagon. You'll notice that the edges of the pentagon create a natural angle that guides you into the right direction. As an example, you can see this is the correct direction for the strip to go. If I try wrapping it in the wrong direction, then the angle at the base feels wrong. Once you reach the end, trim the strip and tuck it into the folds. This is actually the hardest part of doing this tutorial with toilet paper. Normal paper stars are made using fairly stiff paper so they're easy to tuck. Toilet paper is so flimsy that you might need a few attempts before you manage to hide the edge inside. Lastly, just pinch the edges inwards and you have a cute puffy star. You can also make different sizes by changing the width of your paper strip. So I hope you enjoyed this video and might feel inspired to try out some of these if you're really bored at home. Life is difficult right now, but I really hope that we'll be able to look back on this in a few months time and feel amazed at what we survived. If you want to see what else I've been doing in lockdown, then feel free to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. My username is macaroon on both. I'm Joanna, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!